mean by wearing a button and not by being on the victory stand. Because on the victory stand was his own doing from winning. The button proved that he, like a lot of other folks who didn't have that platform, was very idealistically seeking a, a platform for justice. And that's what Peter did, so give him his right. And in terms of justice, what seems amazing now, we, we look back at this and it is inspirational. I mean, we, we yeah. salute you, if you like, for, for what you did in that, and yet it destroyed your athletic careers, all three of you. Well, it, it did, but sometimes it takes destruction to start a rebuild. But what do you do when you want a, a, a properties to start over again? You usually de de demolish the building that it's on, which will cause a lot of personal offense for those who want that building to stay. Uh, reform is sad sometimes, but it's, it's, it's mindfully necessary. And when we're dealing with the human issue of, 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 of moving forward, people will be hurt. This is a man creation of moving forward, being proactive. Yes, it does hurt the change, but change is very necessary. The Olympics is always known for being apolitical. I mean, that's what yeah. caused the controversy. It's why you know you were effectively thrown out. Why even the Peter was was not even allowed to, in an official capacity to attend the Sydney Olympics in in 2000. Yeah, true. Is, is it right? I mean, looking back, do you think it is right that the Olympics does try to maintain this apolitical stance, or do you think really that that what you did was an important thing, and actually other people could do it in the future? Isn't it amazing how man view uh, success, but you're going to have uh, in this total area of moving forward pros and cons of what one should do. And I preach this to kids all the time. No matter what you do positive, there's going to be some negative thoughts about it. But you must take the good with the bad and move forward with the, with the oration of the mixing of the two. And this is what that happened in 1968. I knew that what I was doing was not in vogue. But I had to proceed with my heart, and not with the financial back, but not with the finance that I might lose because of it. Uh, man is not here forever, but uh, we and, do uh, have a responsibility. Uh, so, in that sense, I mean, do you and and indeed did did John or Peter have any regrets about what happened? No, I don't uh, have regrets uh, in, in terms of standing. Isn't it sad though that I had to I had to sacrifice that just to make it a positive act of need to move forward. And that was used, Tommy said, victory stand was used for the proactive moving forward and not to uh, 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 drag through the unnecessary act of being a militant, because I was not. Do you know what, it's so easy to forget though what things were like back in, in 1968. It's, it's, it's yeah. one respect a long time ago, and in another respect, not that long ago, what do you think of now when you look back at this and all that time ago and think how society, and particularly how yeah. America has changed over the decades? Well, good God, from whom all blessings flow. Thank you, because uh, the sacrifices that not only Tommy Smith and John Carlos made, but the sacrifices all over this globe that people have made to, to move forward. From the sailing of those ships, and you all know what I mean, the sailing of those ships around Africa and bringing folks to where uh, I live now, uh, was deemed necessary to prove a point. That point was expansion. And this was only uh, this is a very small idealistic move of expansion. Expansion is the proactivity part of it though. And we did sacrifice this because I did not want to do it, youngster. I call you young because you were only born in 70 something, you know. Uh, you know bless your little heart. <laughs> uh, but it, that had to be done. And I wasn't afraid to sacrifice this because this was my calling. This was, this was a divine calling. Because did I want to do it? No, I did not want to do it. I wanted to go to school, get married, have kids, and die. That was it for me. But you made your you I had to. I had to. Tommy Joe, it's, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. My pleasure, son. My pleasure. Let's get a picture of the weather. Here's Naz.